Hey there pirates, welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. Shanks is one of the most powerful and notable pirates in the world of One Piece. Throughout his journey, he managed to become a powerful and recognized Yonko due to his incredible feats. However, we don't know what effects made him globally recognized worldwide. So in today's video, let's talk about how Shanks might have become a Yonku. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Give us a thumbs up to unlock your devil fruit powers and hit that subscribe button to awaken now, let's jump into the video. Guys, Shanks has emerged as a central figure in the One Piece universe. His rise to become one of the Yonku, the foremost powerful pirates in the New World, is a narrative rich in twists and impactful events. Born in the turbulent waters of the West Blue, Shanks found his destiny by joining the Red-Haired Pirates. Under the leadership of the feared Goldie Roger, the Pirate King, Roger's crew disbanded after the revelation of the One Piece and Raftal, and Shanks emerged as as a promising pirate, receiving Roger's straw hat that would become an iconic symbol. Shanks's journey through the New World was marked by formidable challenges and fascinating discoveries. His crew, the Red-Haired Pirates, evolved by facing numerous adversaries and exploring unknown lands. This journey not only strengthened Shanks as a respected leader, but also solidified his reputation as one of the most formidable pirates of the Grand Line. One of the most memorable moments for Shanks occurred early in the story when he sacrificed his left arm to save Monkey D. Luffy from a sea monster. This act not only demonstrated his courage, but also established a deep connection with Luffy, who grew up nurturing the dream of becoming a great pirate. The title of Yonku was not bestowed upon Shanks without merit. His power and influence in the New World are undeniable, and he plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance among pirate factions. His presence can calm even the wildest, and he is respected by allies and enemies, including other Yonku. The true power of Shanks remains shrouded in mystery. He rarely showcases his battle abilities, but his aura inspires respect and fear. His connection with legendary figures like Goldie Roger and his influence on key events suggests that he will play a crucial role in the epic conclusion of One Piece. As the plot unfolds, speculation about Shanks' final role in the story grows. His connection with the One Piece, his relationship with Luffy, and his status as a Yonku indicate that his involvement in the final battle against the Marine, the Sakai Saifu, and other powerful pirates will be decisive. The reasons behind the Yonku title bestowed upon Shanks are linked to his exceptional pirate skills and his striking influence in the New World. Throughout his journey, Shanks accumulated a series of achievements and characteristics that solidified his position as one of the four most powerful and respected pirates in the Grand Line. His journey began alongside Goldie Roger, the Pirate King, a figure whose legacy echoes across the seas. The dissolution of Roger's pirates on the last island of the Grand Line, Raftal, represented a significant turning point for Shanks. The trust placed by Roger in passing the iconic straw hat to Shanks symbolized not only a succession, but also a transfer of responsibility and expectation. Shanks's audacity and skill were tested in numerous encounters along the dangerous route to the New World. His feats in battle and skilled strategies contributed to the consolidation of his reputation as a formidable captain. The red-haired pirate's crew, shaped by these challenges, became a cohesive and feared force. His sacrifice of his own limb, losing his left arm to save Luffy, not only reinforced Shanks's heroic image, but also established a deep connection with the story's protagonist. This altruistic gesture further solidified Shanks as a valuable mentor mentor and ally for Luffy. By attaining the Yonku title, Shanks demonstrated a unique ability to maintain stability in the New World. His balance between power and diplomacy allowed him to navigate among pirate factions and maintain respectful relations even with other Yonku. His ability to calm tense situations with his mere presence attests to the formidable influence he wields. Shanks's relationship with the One Piece, the legendary treasure, also plays a crucial role in his ascent, although details about the connection between Shanks and the One Piece remain murky, there is an undeniable suggestion that his knowledge and involvement with the treasure play a significant role in his position as a Yonku. Shanks achieved the title of Yonku through a unique combination of battle skills, charismatic leadership, personal sacrifices, and a deep understanding of the mysteries of the New World. His presence at the pinnacle of the pirate hierarchy adds an intriguing layer to the One Piece
Piece universe, and the mystery surrounding him continues to captivate fans, fueling speculations about his ultimate role in the grand narrative. Shank's rise to the status of Yonku was not simply a matter of occupying an empty throne, but rather the result of a merit-based conquest. The New World is a ruthless territory where the strongest thrive and the weak are quickly eliminated. Shanks emerged as a prominent leader among pirates, earning his place among the four Yonku due to his notable skills and achievements. Speculation about how Shanks attained this title is marked by an aura of mystery, as he rarely displays his full power in battle. However, it is reasonable to infer that his position was achieved through direct confrontations with those who previously held the Yonku title. The competitive nature of the New World suggests that Shanks likely faced formidable challengers, showcasing his strength, strategy, and leadership by overcoming them. The possibility of Shanks defeating a former Yonku is a fascinating theory. The turbulent seas of the New World are a stage for constant power struggles, and the idea of Shanks surpassing an established former Yonku stands as a testament to his exceptional skill and cunning. Such an achievement would have solidified his reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Another intriguing conjecture is that Shanks may have assumed the Yonku position in a situation where the post was vacant. Changes in pirate hierarchies are common in the world of One Piece, and the rise of a new leader often occurs when a power vacuum forms. Shanks, with his united crew and remarkable skills, could have filled a space left by a previous Yonku, establishing himself as one of the four supreme figures of the seas. Regardless of the specific method, Shanks' conquest as Yonku reflects his arduous journey filled with challenges. His ability to face powerful adversaries, make strategic decisions, and maintain stability in the new world has distinguished him as one of the most respected and influential pirates. The enigmatic aura surrounding Shanks' ascent to the Yonku position also raises the intriguing possibility that his conquest may have been a balance between political shrewdness and undeniable displays of power. In the One Piece universe, pirate politics are as complex as the seas their protagonists navigate, often resolved based on political power and influence in the world. Shanks, known for his balanced and diplomatic approach, may have used not only brute force, but also his negotiation skills and strategic alliances to secure his place among the Yonku. The New World is a chessboard, where cunning maneuvers are as crucial as physical strength, and Shanks, with his wit and discernment, may have executed a skillful political dance to claim his position. Furthermore, the history of the New World is filled with events that led to the fall of Yonku and the rise of new leaders. These events often involve betrayals, surprising alliances, and rapid shifts in power. Shanks may have capitalized on one of these turns, seizing the instability to ascend to the Yonku status. Another interesting perspective is the possibility that Shanks inherited the Yonku title from his predecessor, whether through a pact, a succession battle, or another type of agreement. Perhaps a former Yonku recognized Shanks' exceptional qualities and decided to pass the torch, influencing the pirate order for the future. Regardless of the exact path Shanks took to become a Yonku, it is undeniable that his position is supported by a unique combination of strength, charisma, and intelligence. The leadership mantle he carries is a reflection not only of his individual skills, but also of his ability to unite and inspire a loyal crew, building a reputation that resonates among allies and adversaries in the tumultuous seas of the New World. Shanks' journey, filled with mysteries and triumphs, continues to captivate the imagination of One Piece fans, maintaining interest and anticipation for the future developments of this epic story. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.